segment here in the uh, Navigate Credit Union Broadcast Center, Hi. Mayor James oh, DeYosa from Central Falls. Thank you How so was much. the trip in? It was great. It was great. <laughs> uh, I like the new setup. It's uh, very nice. And uh, uh, thank you for having me. Well, really appreciate, appreciate having you here. Again, we're now in our third week. So it's been exciting so far. I've had a lot of elected officials That's in to fun. talk about issues. And just want to be able to provide that opportunity if you have big announcements coming up to come on in and let folks know live. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're, we're definitely a uh, city on the move. We've been able to really turn the corner after our dark period of bankruptcy. I think uh, the city's finances are, are, are stable and getting stronger. And the fact that we're seeing uh, people now considering Central Falls to either open up a business or uh, live there and grow a family. Uh, it's, I, I think it's big news uh, regardless. So we're, we're very excited and right now my primary focus is now uh, putting forth a new budget for the city. So we're, uh, we're working on that uh, con consistently every single day and hope to introduce a, a budget that's fair to everyone in the city. Where are the biggest challenges as you approach it from a budgetary perspective? Yeah, I, I think the biggest, biggest challenge is uh, obviously uh, we were a, a big manufacturing uh, community. Uh, we still have some vacant mill space that we, we hope someday can be occupied. But that's the challenge there, trying to find uh, what would be fitting to fill these uh, uh, empty uh, mills. And you talk about the city coming out of receivership. Yes. And as Providence talks about it of being on the table, what would you say is it's even under consideration? Um, cautions, advice, something from that perspective, of having seen it firsthand. Yeah, I think I think for Central Falls it was very different. Uh, you know, I was on the city council at the time, and uh, not being able to very uh, see the process of how the budget was was put together, and you know, uh, it wasn't as well disclosed as it should have been for the public. So, what the bankruptcy did was not only expose what uh, uh, what was poorly done, but also. Uh, allowed to clean up a lot of a lot of the the mess that was there from long before uh, my time. So, uh, like it was it was necessary for Central Falls, and obviously uh, uh, we've been able to turn the corner. Uh, and it, it's taken it's taken a, a long time, and it's been very uh, painful for everyone. Um, so would you say just take a lot of caution with even examining? Yeah, I would. I, the you issue? have to uh, look at it, and, and at the end of the day, uh, you have to make the best decision for the residents. So, uh, I'm not understanding fully uh, what happens in other communities uh, at the time for Central Falls, I think it was the best one. Okay, um, and talk to us maybe some of the biggest success stories that you've seen as being mayor. What would you point to maybe on the business side of things? What would you say you're most proud of? Yeah, well, well, well we, we definitely love to promote our, our, our restaurants. So we have restaurant week and uh, we definitely uh, like bringing on uh, elected officials from around the state to come tour the manufacturing uh, companies there who ha are developing things that uh, are, are being sold all over the, all over the world. So. Uh, that's a that's a big success. But uh, our biggest recent success is Viola. <laughs> yes, so that I is love, Central Falls. Yeah, biggest I, love, success. I love to brag about her. So uh, her story is very strong in the fact that you know she came from very humble uh, livings, and, and the fact that she's the star of Central Falls right now is not only good for the city but inspiring to the youth. Now she was back, what, just as recently as the fall with, was at the Viola Di the Davis Way yeah, 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 <laughs> that yeah, she came back? Jimmy Kimmel was making fun of, yes. <laughs> what but did he say? How, he did, said, how do you make fun of that? He said that. Oh, uh, the size. Yeah, the size <laughs> of the name, so. But it's all good. And she, she, she was very touched and moved by the designation of the street, which is uh, important for me because it's a main street that uh, where kids walk to the high school, so allowing them to reflect uh, on that street is important for me. Yeah, so that they, you know, that, that shining success example. Do you hope that she'll come back in the coming months? We're hoping. Uh, she's, I, I'm sure she's only going to get more busy. Uh, so. <laughs> well, Viola, if you're watching, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mayor Diaz, I would like to welcome you back. You're always welcomed yes. here in Rhode Island. So let's get outside a little bit of just Central Falls politics, <laughs> Central Falls politics, and let's talk about statewide issues. Yeah. But the governor's budget, <laughs> um, I know you've been a firm proponent of the free two years of college. Mm -hmm. Talk to me a little bit. What do you hear from your constituents? Well, well my constituents actually uh, come uh, from a di different uh, uh, economic uh, background where this would be very beneficial to them. And uh, I take it from my standpoint of uh, seeing how 
college was very beneficial to me. So my, my position has been that, uh, you know, educating our kids is very important. So that's why I've been uh, supporting. And, you know, what do you say to those folks that say the state can't afford that price tag? Maybe other communities or, or folks who are opponents to that. What would you say to them? Well, I, look, I, I always been uh, saying that, you know, having a, an educated workforce or educated community is important, not only for now, but for the future. So uh, it's an investment, an investment. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, hopefully uh, there's a reasonable outcome. And the brouhaha over the elimination of the car tax, the governor wants to take a partial approach, the speaker wants to go full force and completely eliminate it. What's your thoughts look, on that? I, I, look, uh, if, <laughs> if we were to bring this live on the streets of Central Falls, I, I think they would be very supportive of eliminating the car tax. Uh, people in Central Falls are very frustrated by the tax. They feel it's unfair. Uh, they feel that uh, you know, the values that they're being assessed at are, are not reflective of what they would get if they were to sell the car. So it's a, it's a frustrating tax uh, for me as mayor. Uh, we're, we're the third highest uh, tax, car tax in the state. So it, it makes it uh, uh, a, a, a contentious topic when I approach my residents. Uh, I would imagine, again, being that portion of uh, household income being great for right. residents in Central Falls, again, keeping a close eye on that. Um, and what do you have to say, back when Governor Raimondo was running for office, she had signed an executive order saying, I mean, she <laughs> promised she would sign an executive order for licenses for undocumented immigrants. Mm -hmm. And then she backed off and said it should be handled at the assembly level. What do you hear from folks in, in Central well, Falls? Well, I, understanding that, you know, I, uh, my community is very diverse. Uh, I've been of the thought that uh, we, we, uh, we know that the federal government has to address this issue of immigration. Uh, but as mayor, we, can, we cannot wait until they do that. So we look for ways of how to ensure a safer community. And I think uh, giving, giving uh, the opportunity of a license uh, would, would only uh, educate people how to drive, but also give them the ability to uh, purchase insurance and also from a, from a law enforcement uh, perspective, uh, we want to know who's driving and who's in our communities. Uh, so my position has always been on the supportive side of, of the issue because I think overall uh, we, we want safe communities and I think this could uh, ensure at some level the safety. But again, you know, the governor had indicated she would sign the executive order. There have been multiple events at the State House in years past in support of this. But if leadership's not in support of it, and have you had conversations, is this just something that's not going to move forward? So the, the conversations are happening every single day because I get the phone calls, and I know that they're up there consistently advocating for this. Uh, you know, we, we hope that uh, uh, if in the meantime there's no movement on the federal side, that this could be a path forward. Okay. And what else can we expect out of Central Falls in the coming year? What's big on your agenda? Well, well what's big is, uh, you know, we, 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 like I said, it continues getting stronger. Uh, we have a very diverse city council, young uh, elected officials coming out of there. And I think what you'll see is that our schools continue, continue to improve under the leadership of Superintendent Victor Capellan. And that's where my, my, my main passion is, is trying to get our kids educated and uh, hopefully going off to college and being very productive when they come back to Central Falls. And you've been mayor of Central Falls. Political political plans. What would you like to do moving forward? Uh, yeah, that's the, that's the big question. I, I don't know. I'm very content uh, where I am, and there's still a lot of work to be done. You know, the big big news around, uh, around the Blackstone Valley is this train station and making sure that before I leave office, it's there and there's uh, investments around uh, the area that will help not only uh, boost up the uh, tax revenues, but also make it a destination for people that want to come visit the Blackstone Valley. When you say that's your goal, I mean, is that a feasible goal to see that station? Uh, it is, and it's already term. moving forward, and, and the RFP is out, and Pawtucket and uh, the governor and uh, DOT have been great about pushing this forward. Uh, I hope that within my next uh, last four years, I'm able to see it uh, fruition, and I tell jokingly 
everyone that I want to write it as mayor. So <laughs> I hope I can get that done. Wants to write it as mayor. Um, again, wanted to just get the tone of what's happening at Central Falls. The big news, obviously, Viola Davis yes. with the Oscar. Now, do you know that we ask folks trivia questions? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not too good at trivia. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, if you're a Rhode Island native, again, day trip. Although we dated ourselves yesterday with a question. It was about Oakland Beach, and it mentioned a, a restaurant called Cherry Stone, which oh. that hasn't been there. I think this is from, like, the 90s. But a lot of trivia is, I mean, if it's history, it's history. That doesn't yeah. really change much. So pick a card, any card. <laughs> He's like, oh, gosh, what's this question going to be here? <laughs> okay. What happened on February 6th, 1978, before you were born? <laughs> a snowstorm? A big snowstorm. Yes. A slightly big, yes, the blizzard of 78. Oh, I got it right. <laughs> a snowstorm. Yes. It's just a, the, snowstorm. The, snowstorm. the snowstorm. The snowstorm. February 6, 1978. Well, here we are in March. Here's hoping we get out with a little less snow. No, oh, I hope so. I hope so. It's very helpful for our budgets. Less <laughs> yes. Snow. Yeah. Less snow. Good for cities. Yeah. Mayor, appreciate your coming in today to talk. No, we hope that you come pleasure. in and have more announcements moving forward that you want to share with everyone here on Go Thank Local you so Live. Much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a safe trip back I will. to I Central will. Falls. Thank you. Everyone, Central Falls Mayor James Diosa coming in to talk with us about what's going on there. Always appreciate getting his take on things and of course Central Falls res former resident uh, grew up by Viola Davis winning the Oscar this weekend the big